We welcome you to the family. Thanks for tuning in. We got a question from one of the viewers that says that she has trouble focusing while she's doing her artwork. And another question from a dude that says that he has anxiety while he's doing his artwork. And this brings out a good leeway to talk about by newer beats in its usage in arts. Now, binaural beats is a brain entrainment method which uses two different frequencies with a device called headphones. And with these two different frequencies, they produce a third frequency. So you'll have one unique frequency in one ear and another unique frequency in another ear. And then your brain will produce a third frequency by responding to those two frequencies, combining it. Now, there are five different tones that the brain can naturally produce, and these five different tones are called Delta, Theta, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. And now to go down the list and explain what all of these uh, frequencies produce, first off, the Delta Hertz conduct at around 1 to 4, and that naturally occurs while you're sleeping. The Theta is produced at around four to eight hertz and it's more of a meditative relaxing brain state and it's also a state as to where your creative ideas are really flowing it's like when you're going to sleep and you're supposed to be sleeping but you're awake thinking about ideas coming out of the blue the alpha frequency is a super relaxation state and it's great for reducing anxiety and it's a state mainly seen in monks or people who practice meditation and it also encourages mild concentration and that's produced at around 8 to 14 hertz now to summarize the theta the alpha and the data are naturally used to encourage relaxation or deep sleep the beta frequency which is produced at around 14 to 40 hertz is where most people are at is when the brain is highly active and it causes you to think a lot and that's also the cause of what most people's anxiety but me personally my favorite hertz to use would be the uh, the gamma frequency which is responsible for uh, hyper focus or hyper concentration or the flow state or which most people call getting in the zone which is mostly seen in gamers or athletes or people who are highly concentrated artists or musicians and I usually use this when I'm drawing or studying for college, you know, just college related stuff or uh, studying anatomy. So it's highly recommended or any task that involves super concentration. Now, how do you use these binaural beats? Now, there are binaural beats scattered everywhere on YouTube. You can find these uh, hertz and listen to them. And all you'll need to do is just find a quiet place and have headphones. And I would recommend to choose a Hertz based on your interests. So, for example, if you were studying and you went to go listen to the Delta Hertz, which is responsible for deep sleep, you're going to be sleeping while you're studying, obviously. So your brain wouldn't really be awake. So for studying, it would be recommended to go with Gamma or something like alpha or so and vice versa if you were listening to the lower hertz like delta or theta you wouldn't want to be doing any high activity while you're listening to those hertz and i feel binaural beats are great tools for artists because artists tend to have a lot of depression and anxiety and so these tools can really help so i'd recommend artists to use the uh, the alpha the theta and the gamma uh, frequencies to conduct their art mainly alpha and gamma the theta is for if you want to relax and think about certain ideas creative ideas so in a way binaural beats provide a great life hack and from a person from experience with anxiety and a lot of mental cl clutter I can approve that these binaural beats have worked for me and I find everything generally easy to learn the only thing that gets in the way of our potential is the anxiety that creeps up. And that will be the video. You people are awesome for watching. Feel free to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and express your thoughts with a comment. Peace.